I'm Lucy and I study A2 French, German and Spanish. My name's Kieran Hayes and I'm studying French, Spanish and German. My name's Emily Bailey and I study A-level a French and German and GCSE Spanish. Uh, my name is Julie, Julie Alexandre Tetro, and I'm the French assistant. I basically chose languages just because um, I love them and the course, particularly here, offered a lot of diversity to study films, um, the different cultural aspects um, of the countries, but also the choice to do literature or study the regions if you wanted to. I'd kind of known from GCSE that I wanted to study languages at university, so I was looking at a level to kind of build on the knowledge I had and prepare me for university. In Spanish, we obviously study um, about certain traditions like the bullfights um, and obviously ethical issues related to that. And within the films, you do two films for each language. Um, so for French, it's La Haine and Les Choristes. For German, it's Die Fetten Jahre and Goodbye Lenin. And for Spanish, it's El Abrunto del Fano and um, Las Mujeres al, ne al Borde de los de Nervios. We do study um, two films in each language for the A level for the A2 year. Um, so you get to have a look at different themes that run through the veins of, say, for example, German culture. Um, and you, you tend to look at, you have the opportunity to look at literature as well for your oral exam or an aspect of a certain region of one of the countries. So you get to do your own research into, into things that maybe interest you a bit more, which I think is quite good because you can almost tailor it to what you feel that you're good at. In Spanish particularly, we study Pan's Labyrinth, which is obviously was a very popular film when it was released, and it's interesting to get get beyond just watching a film and, and look at the themes and, and what it represents, that sort of thing. So it gives you, gives you more um, than just a language education in that it gives you analytical skills for that sort of thing. All language lessons are taught in the target language, which is really good because it gets you used to listening to it and responding to it and understanding. Um, and there's just a huge mix of activities, so um, work on the interactive whiteboards, on the laptops, doing listening, um, reading exercises from like newspapers, magazines and stuff, so it's just a huge mix of activities and you're always doing something different and moving about. Well, but they are taught at the right pace. Um, the sort of use of the target language progresses throughout the course of the two years and becomes more and more in the target language. And obviously that really helps with vocab and just listening to the language helps you when you're in the listening exam that you're more used to hearing someone speaking in the target language, so it is really helpful. From, from the beginning it's, it's in the target language even with the GCSE, so I think at first for a lot of high schools that you're not really taught in the target language very much, so coming to, high, coming to the college can be a bit of a shock to start with, but eventually you get used to it. And I don't find the pace of the lesson that fast, but if you do, the teachers are really approachable and if you have a problem, it's easy, it's easy to get hold of them and contact them and say, this is my problem, what, what can I do to improve? Uh, the teachers are very good in the sense that you, uh, w when you do essays, you'll get lots of support and, and feedback and then that'll, you, you can take that and put that into your next essay. Um, also, they're, they're constantly looking to Im improve your grade in, in your, the other aspects of the reading and the listening, so they'll say, well, um, this is a mistake you made and try and avoid this in future. So, um, the sort of uh, trial and improvement method that um, the language teachers use here is very good. Well, Colin and James are two language teachers. They just offer so much support with um, grammar and speaking and actually everything and if you ever have a problem you can just approach them, they're really easy to approach. Um, um, yeah, they're just great teachers. So the teachers treat you more like adults here than at high school and they're much easier to approach perhaps. Yeah, each year you tend to get a language assistant in um, who you go to once a week and they help you with your speaking, um, so we practice things for the oral exams and they just get used to talking um, about all the different topics that you study. So basically I'm helping them to express in the, in the French language, so it's more of a conversation listen. So I'm just, uh, just to be sure that they can properly understand in French and speak in French, just the, to have a, a useful French.
Well, the language assistants are usually um, students at Staffordshire University, and they um, they come in and you have a, a lesson of once a week, about half an hour, something like that, and you just you go through all the things to prepare for the oral exam, and it's it's just helpful to speak with someone who's a resident of that country, maybe with a bit more of an accent than than your teachers would have, so you can get used to that. It's always like a few students together, so it it won't be more than three students together. So it's really individual, and so I make sure that um, to work with their specific um, what really do the person need like because some of them will be more about the listening some of them would be more about speaking so it's really individual and this way I think it's more um, like because we can be shy right to speak in other language so I think it's more casual this way and they're really useful because obviously they're native speakers so they there's certain things they say actually well you wouldn't say that maybe you'd say it this way but they can give you certain phrases that'll be a lot more useful they can learn like about the culture because obviously i'm not from england and yes for them i think they can really improve uh, about listening basically listening it's really something like there's something they sometimes they find it hard and to speak to like some of them i can see uh, like they improved because they were they were really shy at the beginning and now they can speak Quite quite well in French, yes. Which is something generally unique. Um, it's fun to talk to them, you know, it's quite relaxed and it's not really stressful, it's just having a conversation really. I'm hoping to go to uh, Nottingham to study French and Spanish next year. So I think, yeah, it's definitely benefited my, um, my language learning here. Um, I've got a lot more confidence perhaps in the language because before, I, I, before at GCSE you only know really how to pass the GCSE without being able to speak the language perhaps but here you learn so much then you can apply so much to different everyday conversations you actually be able to make your way through life in another country. Next year I'm doing an exchange to Germany in Dortmund so obviously we're using the German I've learnt here all the time and I think it's important that whilst we obviously learn things for the A-level course. We also learn things of vocab of, of general interest as well. So, so hopefully I'll be prepared for, for that experience. Um, I'm going to go to university to study French and German. And my long-term goals with the languages is probably to enter the diplomatic service um, abroad. I think the best, the best thing is when you come out at the end and you realise how far you've come in one, one or two years like from for the G, for the GCSE Spanish, for example, I started at the start of this year without a word of Spanish, and now I've probably got, hopefully, got a GCSE in it. So it can be hard work, but it's very rewarding. This college offers um, three languages, which is um, probably quite unusual in this day and age, and it's just it's well taught, and the results speak for themselves.